Heading into Sunday, 1 p.m. game. Of course, I chose I chose the eight games that I think is most relevant, the, the best games of the weekend. Falcons versus Packers, an NFC matchup, an old kind of an old school matchup, uh, to be completely honest with you. But uh Falcons first. versus Packers. Uh Vic, what say you in you this game? Now. I like this game, and I, I like the rushing attack that the Falcons have created between what is it, Algier and Robinson. I like the way the defense was playing. Desmond Ritter, nothing spectacular, but he got the job done. Um, But what surprised me was Jordan Love. I think he surprised a lot of people. I think that, you know, he kept a cool head. He was calm. He was poised, you know, in the pocket, made great plays. Romeo Dobbs, if he could stay healthy, that's a great connection I see there. The rushing attack, if they can get things going. I know uh, Jones had a great game. Let's get AJ, let's get Dylan in there. You know what I mean? Let, let, let him see the ball too. But I got the Packers winning this, winning at least by two scores. Yeah, I had to share your sentiments there. And no matter how much I like what Tyler Algier did, man, and I think he's being severely underrated for whatever reason. Um, I think he's the backbone of that of that offense outside of if they can get Drake London going. I don't know what happened with Drake London, Saj, and I, I really don't. That that really made me mad. Like looking at that whole that whole piece of uh, the missing puzzle from their offense. I mean, Kyle Pitts got involved. I think he had two catches for forty one yards or something like that. Um, Bijan Robinson had a pretty decent game, but I mean, Tyler Algier was out there cooking too. I hate that. I hate that that dude is getting overshadowed by the hype train of Bijan Robinson. It, I mean, I know I'm not the biggest fan of Bijan, and I've said it time and time again. I want all these guys to do well, but when a guy gets runs for a thousand yards and just gets overshadowed by the next hype train, then he still performs over a hundred yards, and and he was still what, your best running back. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Mm. So I, I just like don't Bijan was a waste of a draft pick. I just don't understand what's going on with Arthur Smith and, you know, having his players in their second season go, you know, just disappear. You did it with Kyle Pitts. You didn't you didn't give him an opportunity. Now you're doing it with Drake London. Now you're doing it with Algier. You got to give these guys a chance to play well, especially Pitts. I think he, he had two catches, but where has he been for the past season and a half? Yeah. Um, you know, Jair... I hope he gets his head straight before he causes a penalty for his team. I know DJ Moore was on the receiving end for responding with that whole incident that happened out the sideline, but just do what you got to do and just walk off, man. I think everybody on TV saw that that wasn't your fault. Like it is what it is, but you got to get, if you want to be a leader, you got to be able to get your guys together too. Um, Cause they're, they're going to follow you as the, the number one guy on that defense. Um, I just think their defense is going to be a little bit too much for for the Falcons to handle. I think Desmond Ritter is going to struggle. I think Desmond Ritter might throw two interceptions in this game. To be completely honest with you, and they both might go to they both they both might go to the the two the two cornerbacks there, Razul Douglas and and uh, Jair Alexander. So we'll see what it is, man. But I I think and y'all know I like my boy Drake London. I got his jersey. I like my boy Kyle Pitts. I don't have his jersey. Uh, <laughs> what about Tyler Algier? I don't have his jersey. But um, I'm not a Desmond Ritter fan whatsoever. But the uh, if the Packers didn't surprise you on what they were going to be able to do, they should have surprised you on Sunday. Um, I mean, Jordan Love looked all right. I don't want to overhype Jordan Love. He looked all right. Romeo Dobbs still looks damn good off of an injury. It's crazy. Dobbs and we still got Christian, Christian Watson, who's injured. So once they Christian. go, you know, at full strength. And then Jaden Reed. Jaden yeah, Reed has some hey, good plays in the game. Hey, hold up. But Dante, Fishing, myself. But what do we know? What do we know? Uh, go ahead, Sor. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me tell you right now. It is not even going to be close. This is going to be like the uh, the Packers are going to be the Falcons like a redheaded stepchild. Straight 21 plus 21 points. The, this is not close. Are you Anybody that says, oh, I think Desmond Ritter had a good game, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> Stop it. What are we talking about here? Desmond Ritter had a good game. 
where? Are we just if you're just looking at a set saying that, then yeah, you're wrong. Because let's not act like that this dude had what was it? It was like eight for eight, zero passing yards and a touchdown. Why? Because he was in the negative. His field of vision sucks. Kyle Pitts had two recep two receptions. Dude should have had like seven plus. The amount of times that dude was wide open. He literally sat there, defender on the ground. Mm-hmm. And he gets no looks. This is free my boy Kyle Pitts. I'm getting angry at this. If he's not gone by the <laughs> if he's not gone by the end or by trade <clears throat> deadline, bro, I'm pulling a William to comes to Sherman and I'm burning Atlanta to the ground. Straight up. Damn. I said it's too loud, man. Look at how they're slaughtering my boy. They're, they're slaughtering everybody. Look at how they're slaughtering your boy in Drake London. You should join me in this conquest. This is this. I no, know. Free them. The free them, bro. <laughs> Desmond Ritter is a terrible quarterback. He is not the guy. He's ass. I won't be surprised he if he gets turn benched. Over the ball. He's going to turn over the ball. He's going to turn over the ball. Hey. This is Green Bay by 21. At a minimum, at a minimum. Where where did Bijan Robinson make most of his plays? Mm, Receiving game. Zone. And and what side of the field? The right. Where was his touchdown? Oh yeah, the right side. It's like we watch film or something. It's like it's like we know what we're talking about here. I'm sorry, Falcon fans, that I know your team better than you do. It sucks <laughs> to suck. It's okay. Go sucks ahead and call one eight hundred. I'm sorry, Sora. Oh, get with the Steelers fans. Help the lines out. are open. I feast yeah. on all y'all's tears. Don't don't get put on don't get put on an, on another. We we should just have a uh, a collection of commercials this this mm. season. I'm I'm mm. waiting because every time I I'm put these out, the there's going to be one this there's going to be one this week. I already know, and I don't let, know which one it's going to be, but it's going to happen some, this week. Let some Falcon fans comment under this video when you chop it up. Let someone do it, please, because I will be there. And I will be waiting. I will find you. And, and I, I will, will expose kill. you. And I will kill you. Straight uh, there are other fans <laughs> that will be there to help you. Yes. Please call now. You will be put in the shadow <laughs> realm with the Steeler fans. I don't care where you're from. The US of A, Australia, Germany. These hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs>